as you, and now I'm as big as me. Do you think you'll get as big as me one day? I think you will. I've got a story all about getting big. Would you like to hear it? Oh, let me see. Where is it? <gasps> Here it is. It's called Pushchair Polly by Tony Bradman. And here's Polly, and she is sitting in a pushchair. Let's open the book and see what it says. Polly loved her pushchair. She loved its handles and its comfy seat, its buckle up belt and the bar where she put her feet. Polly loved every squeak of its fat little wheels. Polly sat in it for most of her meals, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. She rode in it, she played in it, she sang in it. She spent most of her day in it. Polly sat in her pushchair for watching TV and brushing her teeth and having stories. If she could, Polly would have made it her bed. We'll have to call you Pushchair Polly, Mum and Dad said. Polly didn't mind that. In fact, she rather liked the name and everything would have been fine and dandy, but things never say the same. For without her knowing, Polly was rowing and rowing. One day she looked down and saw that her feet didn't fit on the bar anymore. Her buckle up belt felt tight too and she was still growing. She noticed her bottom wasn't quite comfy in the seat anymore. The fat little wheels didn't squeak, they groaned. And she still was growing. Polly had to fold herself in, but once she had, it was very hard to get out. <gasps> Her mummy's pulling Polly and her dog is pulling her mummy. Polly must be stuck. Polly wanted to scream and shout and she was still rowing. Soon Polly's knees were up near her ears and Polly couldn't, could do now was burst into tears. She wouldn't be pushchair Polly anymore. <laughs> Polly felt sad, so Mum and Dad took her out for a treat. On the way back, they went past a shop where Polly stopped and stared. <gasps> what has Polly seen? She'd seen something she'd like. A magnificent bike! And that's what she got for her birthday. Polly loved the spin of its silvery wheels. She loved the handles and its comfy seat, its ring a ding bell, and the pedals where she put her feet. Polly sat on it for most of her meals, for breakfast for lunch and for dinner. She rode on it, sang on it, played on it. She spent most of every day on it. Polly sat on her bike for watching TV and brushing her teeth and having stories. If she could, Polly would have kept it by her bed. We'll have to call you Push Bike Polly. Mum and Dad said. Polly didn't mind that. In fact, she liked the name and now she was happy as could be. So off she flew with a wee! The end. Do you have a push chair? Do you sit in one to go out to school or to town? Ooh. And would you 
Do you have a bike or would you like one? What colour would it be?